Today's quick affinity photo tip comes from a viewer question. In a recent video, Ben and Andy asked, when you refine a selection, you can create a mask, new layer, or new layer with a mask. Why would you choose one over the other? That's a great question because there is one important difference between all these options. First, let's look at what he's actually asking here. I'm in Affinity Photo and I have this image here. I'll use the selection brush to select this person. I'll click over her and you can see it's selecting her. Now I'm going to click this button up here that says refine. So I'll click that. Now I have a whole video on how to use the refine tool. So check that out if you wanna know the exact details of what all these sliders mean. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. But for today, we're just looking at these output options here. And this is what Andy's question was about. And the difference between these options here comes down to color decontamination. Let's look at a simpler demo before we go back to our portrait. I have this single layer image here of an orange circle on a blue background. Let's say we wanna isolate the orange circle. Now if I zoom in on the circle here, you can see at the edges, it's kind of blurred. And this is often the case with objects that we wanna isolate. The background color is bleeding into our object a little bit. So let's use our selection and refine options again. I'll do the selection brush. I'll select my circle. And now I'll click refine again. For the output method, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select mask. So I'll select this option here, mask. I'll click apply. And now we have our result. But if I zoom in, Notice we're still getting that blue fringe at the edge. So this is something we'd like to get rid of. Let's do that again, but let's choose a different output option. I'll select my circle. I'll click refine. Now this time I'm going to click new layer with mask. This is the bottom option here. I'll select that. And now I'll click apply again. I'll rename that output new layer with mask. Now watch what happens when I zoom into the edge of this. You can see that blue fringing is gone. And that's because this operation performed color decontamination. So Affinity Photo looked at the color on the edge and it tried to take it out of that new selection here. Now, in fact, if I hide the mask, if I zoom in, you can kind of see how it works. It actually put in extra color here on the edge. So if I turn on the mask, you can see where that edge is. And if I disable the mask, this part on the edge here was added in by Affinity Photo to make the edge more orange. So this is the original edge. And this is the color decontaminated edge with more orange added. So now let's go back to our more realistic example here. So I'll click refine. Now I'll select new layer with mask and I'll click apply. And in this case, you can see it did a good job of getting rid of the red fringes. So if you look at her shirt down here, it's mostly white. There was lots of red bleeding into it before. Same thing with the side of her face. Now the inner parts of the hair still need some work, but that's a topic for another video. So color decontamination is something you want to consider when refining your selections. And you can achieve it with new layer and new layer with mask. So thanks for the question, Andy. And if anyone else has a question they'd like to see answered in a future video, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.